If you're interested in finding demographic information for people who purchase specific products, you'll want to look at the database MediaMark Reporter, or MRI. The data is collected through a survey called the Survey of the American Consumer. To access the data, email refdesk at uww.edu and request the registration code. Then go to the database and click the register link. Note that the registration code will change after the fall and spring semesters. So if you use this database over a period of time, you may need to re-register. After you have that code and fill out the registration form, check your email to verify your registration. After logging in, which I'm going to do now, you can click the University Reporter icon to access the database. Next, you'll need to choose a specific category of consumer product or service. You can also use the search box if you're not sure which category is most appropriate for your research. I'm interested in learning more about people who have purchased Hershey's, so I'm going to choose the candy, sweets, and snacks category. On the next page, I can choose a specific segment of that category that I'm interested in. So I'm going to choose candy regular or king size. The next page will show me my report with some options along the left side that I can use to modify these options um, before I actually review my report. So I can either look at the standard report, which has the most recent year of data, or I can select trend to see how consumer spending on candy has changed over time. I can also limit my, my target group to men or women or adults over 21 if I choose to, but I'm just going to leave it at adults for now. Under details, I can choose one option. This will tell the database which specific report I'm interested in. It's really important to make sure that you expand each section. So here I've got usage, brands, and types to look at. Um, otherwise, I will be leaving out a lot of choices that I have to look at. Um, I could also look at reports for specific types of candy if I don't just want usage, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll down in this section and look for Hershey's. So I've got a few Hershey's options. I am really just interested in Hershey's milk chocolate bars. As I make my selections on the left, the report on the right automatically updates. Notice that I can save the report or export it to Excel using these options along the top of the page. Um, it's really important to be aware that interpreting the data within MRI can be a little confusing. Uh, note that the first two columns are listed in thousands, but the actual numbers are in millions. So be sure to add three zeros to the end of any number you use in these columns. The base total column is listing the total number of adults in the United States. This number will not change from report to report, assuming that I leave total adults as my base. If I were to change my base to women, for example, the base total will list the total number of women in the United States. So under men, it would say zero. For my report, if I look at the row age 65 plus, I can see that there are over 42 million adults in the U.S. that are over 65 years old. The next column lists the projected number of my base, in this case adults, who have purchased Hershey's milk chocolate in the last six months. So of the over 42 million adults over the age of 65 in the U.S., just over 4 million of those people have purchased Hershey's milk chocolate in the last six months. The percent detail column compares people within my selected target area, in this case, people who buy Hershey's milk chocolate. So of all the people who have purchased Hershey's milk chocolate in the last six months, 14.7% of them are over the age of 65. The percent target column presents the percentage of the people that fall into my projected target in relation to the total population. So of all the adults over the age of 65 in the U.S., 9.4% of them have purchased Hershey's milk chocolate in the last six months. Finally, the index column is used to portray how likely it is that an adult will fall into that particular category. 100 is considered neutral, 
Numbers greater than 100 indicate that something is more likely to occur, and numbers less than 100 indicate that something is less likely to occur. For example, the index for age 65 plus is only 82, while the index for age 18 to 24 is 111, indicating that 18 to 24 year olds are more likely to buy Hershey's milk chocolate than people over the age of 65. If I scroll down, I will find information on household income, race, what TV channels these people are likely to watch, the magazines they're likely to read, the websites they're likely to visit. This is really helpful for marketing students who are trying to figure out which media outlets to use for their campaign. Notice that the red text will indicate the sample size was less than 50 for that particular piece of data, so the information may be a little less accurate for that line of information, but this does not negate the value of the whole report. Finally, if you want to analyze several reports at once, you can use the control button if you're using a PC or the command button if you're using a Mac to select several items from the detail section. So I could choose a number of these Hershey section reports here to get one report that covers all of these groups. If you would like additional information about MediaMark Reporter, you can check out the MediaMark Reporter Research Guide. Um, and the link will be on the page. Okay, thanks.